Hi, and welcome to this PractiTest test automation help video. PractiTest is an end-to-end -end test management solution that lets you integrate your automation and manage it from within the system in multiple ways. In this video, we will review the option to add your CI-CD results to PractiTest using the Firecracker tool. Firecracker will let you convert XML files to actual test results in PractiTest, including all fields and parameters automatically. A few things to prepare in advance. Create an API token. We recommend using a personal API token that should be enabled by account owner and then generated in personal settings. Create test custom fields that will match your fields in the test results you get from your CI-CD tool. For example, if you have a field called class name in your automated tests, map it with a PractiTest test custom field. This way, you will be able to see the equivalent of your automated tests in PractiTest's report and dashboard graphs. Make sure you have Java installed on your machine. To start the process, go to firecracker-ui-prod.practitest.com and log in using your PractiTest credentials. Upload the XML file you received from your CI-CD tool. Insert your API token. Press the button next to it and choose the project you want to report the results to. Match the PractiTest field to the XML field you want it to report to. If you want to modify the fields of the results received from the XML to appear differently in PractiTest, use the function column. You will see an example of the original value under the original value column. This example is taken from the XML test that is in row 1 in the top table. If I change to row 2, I will see the value of this field in the test result from row 2 in the top table. Let's choose the class name field in the XML, but this time we'll match it to two pre-prepared custom fields in PractiTest as follows, area and test. For the area field in PractiTest, we want to populate only the information after the first dot and up to the next dot. We will insert the correct function to match what we need and we can see the results that will appear in the area field in PractiTest under the result example column. In the same way, we will match the class name field to the test field in PractiTest using a suitable function that can be adjusted in the function column. We can also use the function field for static values. For example, I can decide that I want all tests in this run to have a field with the project name in them. I will choose the project field I have in PractiTest and in the function column, I will insert the name of my project. This way, I will later on be able to filter these tests from other tests by their project name. By defining and organizing the PractiTest fields values received from the XML, we will later on be able to filter and present the results based on those fields in PractiTest dashboards and reports. After matching the values of the fields, click Download Configuration. In case you need to map more fields or to change the project you are sending results to, you can always upload the configuration file to Firecracker UI mode, modify it, and download an updated version. To check the configuration, create a folder that will include a folder with your XML files, the JSON file you downloaded from Firecracker, and the Firecracker jar file that can be downloaded from the link in the help page. Run the command found in the help page with the correct parameters for folder name, file name, and user ID. You can run this in any shell. Now check and you will see your XML results in PractiTest. Use the fields you configured in Firecracker and filter your data accordingly to create valuable dashboard items and reports that will give you better insights for your project. In order to automate the Firecracker procedure, Write a script that will download new XML files into your dedicated folder, remove old files, and run the command. This way, every time you get a new build and results files, they will automatically be uploaded into PractiTest.